Hi guys and welcome to Salim's Kitchen. Are you having problems making spring rolls or you just cannot get it right? Look no further because today I am going to teach you how to make the perfect chicken spring rolls. First, we are going to thinly slice one red pepper, one green pepper and one yellow pepper. Next, we are going to thinly slice two medium onions. Next, thinly slice two carrots. Next, thinly slice a quarter of one whole cabbage. Next, thinly slice three stems of spring onion. Next, finely chop one bunch of coriander or dania. Next, thinly slice 500 grams of chicken fillets. And finally, grate 250 grams of mozzarella cheese now let's put everything together and make the chicken filling use a nice big wide pot like this and heat it up on medium heat now once your pan is nice and hot Add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Once your oil is nice and hot, add in your chicken fillets. Now add in one teaspoon of garlic paste. and one teaspoon of salt or salt to taste. Now allow the chicken fillets to cook for eight to 10 minutes or until all the water dries out. After eight minutes, or once all the water has dried out like this, the chicken fillets are now cooked. Now 
add in two tablespoons of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Give this a nice good mix. Now add in one tablespoon of mixed masala to give it a nice spicy flavor. The recipe for the mixed masala will be in the description box below. Give this a good mix. Now add in the onions and mix well. Now add in the cabbage the peppers and the carrots Now give this a nice good mix Allow the vegetables to cook for six minutes, mixing every two minutes interval. After six minutes, you can see the vegetables are not overcooked. They are a bit soft. Now add in half a lemon juice, squeeze half a lemon. This will give it a nice tangy flavor. Give this a nice good mix. Now add in your spring onion and the coriander. Give it a good mix. Once you have mixed it well like this, you can now switch off your stove because the filling or stuffing is now ready. Now let's allow our beautiful chicken filling to cool down and let's start making the spring roll pastry. In a mixing bowl, add in 250 grams or one cup of all-purpose wheat flour half a teaspoon of salt mix the salt and flour together and form a well Now add in 100 milliliters of normal tap water and mix until a dough is formed. Once your dough is formed, knead it well for one minute. Once your dough is well kneaded, 
turn it into a round ball and flatten it to form a disc. Now add some dry flour on your workboard. Place your disc on top and cut it into eight equal pieces. Now turn each piece into a disc. Once your discs are all formed, we are now going to roll them out into a saucer size roti. Add some dry flour on your work table like this and set your discs on top of the dry flour and keep them covered working with one disc at a time. Now add a little flour on both the sides of the disc and gently spread it out. Now press your disc out a bit like this using your fingers. Turn it around and do the same thing. <laughs> Now take your rolling pin and dust it with some dry flour so the roti will not stick to the rolling pin. And now let's start rolling out a roti. Always roll in a circular motion like this. Once it's rolled out, use a saucer and check. You should get a saucer size roti. As your rotis are being rolled out, apply some dry flour on your work table like this and set your rotis on top and keep them covered. Once your rotis have all been rolled out, now let's oil them in layers of four using vegetable oil. Once you have oiled the first four rotis, again apply some dry flour on the table like this and set your layered rotis on top, keeping them covered. Once all the rotis have been oiled, let's now roll them out into a thin spring roll sheet. Apply some dry flour on your work table like this. 
set your layered rotis on top add some dry flour on top of your layered rotis and gently spread it out turn it over and do the same thing gently spread the dry flour out now use use your fingers and gently press it out a bit like this more towards the ends or edges and gently flatten it in the center turn it over and do the same thing Now add more dry flour on top so you cover all the areas where the oil is now visible or the oil is coming out. Just cover the oil so it does not stick to the rolling pin. Now dust your rolling pin with dry flour and gently start to roll it out very little and then turn it over apply more dry flour again gently roll it out a little turn it over again gently apply a bit more dry flour or we'll always be applying dry flour once the oil starts to come out. And as simple and as quick as that, it has been rolled out into a thin sheet. Now let's move on and toast the sheet. Now heat your toasting pan on medium heat. Once your pan is nice and hot, add in your sheet. And now allow it to toast once you see bubbles starting to form and it will start to rise. Once you see bubbles starting to appear like this here, you can now turn it over. And allow it to toast for at least 30 seconds. You can move it around a bit like this. You can see it is already separating in the pan. So now after 30 seconds, we can now remove the sheets and separate them. You can even separate them in the pan. They separate so easy. Beautiful pastry. Absolutely amazing. Look at that guys, absolutely amazing, beautiful spring roll pastry. After you have separated them, keep them covered in a damp cloth.
Now that our beautiful pastry or spring roll wrappers are ready, let's make our chicken spring rolls. In a mixing bowl, add in two tablespoons of flour. Now add in normal tap water and form a nice thick paste. This will be the glue that we will be using to stick the spring rolls. First add in your filling. Try and grab a bit of everything. Add some mozzarella cheese on top. Now fold it over one time like this over the filling and gently bring it slightly back and fold it a little more forward so you have created a long pocket like this and the filling is sitting in nice and tight. Now overlap both the sides like this. Now apply glue. and complete the rolling. And there you have it, the perfect chicken spring roll. Now that our chicken spring rolls are ready, let's fry them on medium heat until they turn golden brown in color. Now this recipe will only be successful and completed if we can fry the spring rolls to a perfect golden brown in color without the cheese oozing out. To prevent the cheese from oozing out, shallow fry them so that it can turn golden brown and fry very quickly. Now make sure that the oil is nice and hot. When you put the spring roll in, it must start frying immediately like that. Now turn them over every 30 seconds until it turns golden brown in color. Now you can see how quickly it fried. I turned it over four times. It fried for two minutes and you can see the cheese almost started to ooze out, but we beat this by frying the spring rolls very, very quickly. And you can see it fried to the perfect golden brown in color. Once you remove them from the oil, allow them to cool down on a steel rack like this. This will prevent the spring rolls from becoming soggy. You can see how beautiful they fried. Remember the pastry is very thin, so it's fried through and through.
Now that it has cooled down, we can plate and serve. Enjoy them with your favorite dip chutney or sauce. And there you have it guys. It looks absolutely stunning and amazing. And this is how you make the perfect chicken spring rolls. And these spring rolls are nice and big in size. One spring roll is equivalent to five regular spring rolls. Now, when you are making spring rolls or samosa pastry, try and use a silicone rolling pin like this. The silicone gives the pastry a nice smooth roll and the swivel handles makes it so much more easier to roll in a circular motion. I have left a link in the description box below. Click the link and go and buy yourself a nice silicone rolling pin like this here. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to give this beautiful chicken spring roll recipe a try. Please like, share and subscribe. Until my next video, stay blessed, stay safe and peace out.